<laughs> so, uh, when we arrive at the top, the other one will arrive at the bottom. Pretty simple stuff. But no matter how many times we're told that, I will always try and race the cars, get a better time, but it's not really happening for me. So. <laughs> how old is Gable? How old is it? Uh, we just uh, installed a new one in 2003, so yeah, not, too old, not too old at all. So it, it will drink. Sorry? It will. It, it will no, it's checked, <laughs> checked off every year by the same people. Checked off every year by the same people who check off amusement rides and roller coasters. Oh, that's so. that's reassuring. Yeah, and, and, and it was uh, and it was built by Germans, so you know they got it done. Uh, yeah. So I will let you know now, just while we're on that theme, that this is the original car from '64. I won't oh. stop there. It's been completely overhauled, <laughs> and the only thing that is original is the chassis itself. So wheels are new, everything that functions is new. Just the steel box. So we're very safe, I will assure you. I would not get in the car if I wasn't safe. So I can point out some of these lakes. So just to the right of Jasper, there's a lake in the shape of a horseshoe. That is Lac Fulbert. It translated means beautiful green lake. So that's home to the Jasper Park Lodge and the golf course. It's the uh, most scenic golf course in North America. So people travel all around just to play golf here because every hole faces a different mountain range. So, yeah. Yeah. The next two lakes are Lake Annette and Edith. Now yesterday I went for a swim in Lake Edith. That was bloody cold. Yeah. I, I, I lost the feeling in my legs almost instantly. I was like mind over matter, I got down to the underwear and just cruised on in. And uh, I was just acting like it's a nice summer day and everyone's like, oh, is the water nice? And I was like, yeah, it's great, come in. And they uh, came down, put their toes in and go, oh, I'll get stuff. And just walked away. So, ignorance is bliss. I feel like I'm back at home, slaying on the sand. So how do you call this mountain pass? This is called Whistler's Mountain. Whistler's Mountain. And we're on the Trident Range. And it derived its name because of the uh, rodent that is usually found at the top, the hoary marmot, which has a distinct whistle call. It lives a pretty interesting life, really. It uh, hibernates for eight months, comes out for four months to uh, eat and mate, and then it goes back to bed. So what a, what a wonderful life he's living. <laughs> So I lied to you, I'm not taking you to the Hubbard Terminal, I'm taking you into the clouds of heaven. So I hope everyone was good. Yeah. I wasn't good enough, so I'm going back down. <laughs> How many meters are we on from ground? Uh, we've elevated a thousand meters. So at the top here, we will be 2,300 approximately. So not to worry that the clouds are over. In five minutes time, it could be a completely different story.